what is up pretty people you know what else is pretty the set get into it get into it okay anyways y'all look at my nails oh my gosh they're so raggedy and it's because they recently just grew out like all of the damage i did to them finally grew out since my birthday my birthday was may 31st i put nails on for that day and then took them off right after and i've been just been letting them breathe a little bit so you know they're finally ready to be pretty fine so that's what we're doing in this video today of course push back your cuticles um it looks like i'm going super fast but i actually sped the footage up so push back your cuticles gently and then go in with honestly you don't have to use an e-file i just like the amount of uh, work that i can do with an e-file so i prefer to use a cuticle bit but you can use the other end of your cuticle pusher your scraper to get underneath it in case you don't have an e-file or you can use those cuticle remover um gels or lotions sally hansen has a really good one you can find them on amazon for a couple bucks so those are your options child but yes clean your cuticles so that we don't have any lifting I think they look super duper good and then I use my low grit file to kind of just rough up the surface of my nail on my nail you can kind of see there's a little bit of like something on there it looks like glue but it's actually a tea bag y'all know that trick that you can seal any cracks in your nails with like a piece of a tea bag so I just put them on the ends of my nails where they felt kind of brittle just to add a little bit of structural support I don't know if that will actually help but in my mind it worked so that's what I did but anyways yes clean those up and then we're gonna go into tips this is my first time using so much stuff that was my first time using that cuticle bit this is my first time using these square pre-pinched tips i wanted like a super square nail a super long square nail this time i mean they're not long for other people probably but they're long as hell for me i apply the tips by pushing them down and making sure there are no air bubbles and then i squeeze the sides to lay them super flat Look at that C-curve. They come already with the C-curve pre-pinched. I love it. Um, I think these tips are solid. They're a really good length for me. I didn't cut them because I wanted my nails to be longer than I usually do. Just because I had a lot of designs that I was thinking of doing with this set. So I wanted to make sure that my nails were long enough for you to actually see the design that I do. So now I'm just filing them down to make sure that the poly gel sticks to my actual tip and to blend the tip a little bit with my natural nail these tips do are a little bit thick I would say they're a little thicker than the tips that I have right now so I did have to actually file the well um, and they don't come with a well you kind of just have to glue the edge like you saw but that's neither here nor there I still really like these tips I like the shape I really didn't file much at all until like I actually put the product on but the pre filing I didn't do too much now I'm actually prepping my nails this time because I'm going somewhere so I really want these nails to last so I'm using my ASP dehydrator and then I'm going to go in with my ASP extra strength primer because these puppies need to stay okay we don't have time for anything popping off or anything you know trying to get buck on me during this this trip I am putting two coats of the dehydrator and two coats of the primer then i'm going into my beetles base gel and going to apply that to each of my nails you don't actually have to apply this to the extension but i just wanted to make sure that these nails were solid so i put base gel all over the entire nail the artificial nail and my real nail I'm trying this trick look at this cute little geode like mixing plate I got from Amazon so cute but I'm trying this trick where you use base gel as your slip solution someone in the comments told me to do it and I also did notice that Femi Beauty which is like a nail youtuber who I love she also did it so I was like okay let me give it a shot so I put some on the plate and now I'm attempting to marble this poly gel with some yellow because I decided that yellow was going to be the theme for today but it doesn't necessarily work out as I thought it would I think the yellow is just a little too 
bright to marble or it just mixed so easily with the white so it wasn't giving me the effect i wanted but you guys will see what i do afterwards but i'm dipping in the base gel and i do like i can say that i do like the base gel working with base gel as slip solution for this poly gel the yoyogi brand was fine but i found that using base gel with my clear poly gel it wasn't working well i don't i'm not sure why because the marbling wasn't going how I wanted it to, I just ended up scraping off the poly gel from my nail and I'm mixing it all together just to make like a nice pastel type of yellow. I didn't want it to be a mustard yellow. I wanted something very summery. Um, so I mixed it together to make it a light yellow. It looks like highlighter yellow. Like how it's coming off on the screen is how it looks on my nail. It's so pretty oh my gosh actually it's a little darker on screen than it is on my nail that's also because i cap it in natural clear which kind of fades it out a little bit so after i cap this you'll see the true color of what my nails look like but yeah so i left this in regular speed because i am doing an ombre and this is my first time ombre and i just wanted y'all to see that it takes time like i mess up my nails all the time y'all like literally all the time <laughs> So I wanted y'all to know that like it's cool you can just start over or wipe it off like getting frustrated doesn't really do anything for you and since I'm a perfectionist I really don't mind when I have to wipe things off and like start over and go back like I fluff a lot with my nails like what I'm doing right now is what I call fluffing I just keep patting like keep patting and it eventually turns into what you want honestly. So I did the tip for my blend and now I'm going into my base color for my blend. Look at that color. Isn't it the exact color of my nail bed? Like, oh, I need to find this and buy like eight more bottles. But yes, I go in. I'm just going to try to blend it into the yellow. And you guys can just watch what I do because it's kind of explanatory with my actions. You're just pushing. I'm pushing it into my cuticles to make sure it's flush. Then I'm going to lightly drag it up the nail and take off product as I see fit. Note that I am not building the final structure of my nail with this poly gel. I am going to cap in a natural clear, which is going to be the structure of my nail. So right now I'm just trying to get my blend flawless. And then we will go in with the structure after all of this is done. OMG, I almost forgot to mention that this channel hit a hundred and something subscribers. Actually, it hit a hundred subscribers like a couple of days ago, but we're like exponentially increasing, child. And I am so grateful for y'all. Like y'all are really watching my videos. That's crazy because I really only did this to like document my progress because I started nails a couple months ago and I just wanted to keep track of how good I get like as the months and years go by. So I appreciate y'all so much. Uh, I really do. Like, y'all gonna make me shed a thug tear because it's just so sweet. The comments that y'all leave. I love talking to y'all. So keep that same energy, okay? Thanks. And boom, we also did our ring finger. It's the exact same design, just an ombre blend. So I didn't want to, you know, add to this video. It's already 18 minutes long. I'm trying to get you guys in and out. So this is my pointer finger. I decided to do an inverted French tip, inverted V. Y'all, I don't know the technical terms for things, okay? Don't drag me. But you guys teach me in the comments. Anything that you feel like I can improve on, definitely leave that in the comments below because I really do read. I mean, I don't have that many comments, but I listen to everything you guys say. So, you know, leave me comments. Tell me what you think I did incorrectly. I think I did this inverted V the right way. I just didn't like the final outcome because I didn't like the glitter that I chose to put on my nail, which is so annoying because I could have wiped it off and started over, but I thought it would turn into something different, but it didn't. Ugh. Okay, now onto my pinky, honey. Okay, I wanted to give her something a little special. So I did a negative space nail on my pinky. I'm using that same nude to form like my 
my spaces that are filled and then the negative space will be in the middle i'm trying to make it as sharp and straight as possible before i have to go in with the file so that i don't have to file that much Okay, so for this nail, I wanted to try doing that design where the center is clear and then you have like your poly gel or your product on the outside. So I wanted to encapsulate some gold foils, which I subsequently spilt all over the ground right after this. Like, good God, my workspace was just a mess this time I did my nails. It was, it was a mess. But yes, I am putting all of these gold foils into some base gel that I did not cure yet. And I'm going to cure it and I'm going to cover it in some clear poly gel by McCart because I want it to be super duper clear. Have y'all tried the Beatles clear poly gel? I just watched Long Hair Pretty Nails do a video on it and it looked clear as hell. And I think it looked a lot less sticky than the McCart one because... I tried to, this is me using the base gel y'all see how sticky it is i had to switch to slip solution because the base gel trying to move this was just not working but i'm just tired of how sticky it is i like firm poly gels i don't like ones that stick to my brush it's so annoying so i'm gonna try the beatles one i don't know if i should get the whole pack or if i should just get i don't know we'll see So now that I formed the base of all of my nails, I can go in with filing and making sure that all of my points and bits and bobs are the way that I want them to be, okay? I basically didn't create a ledge for me to actually file so I went back in with a little bit of clear poly gel just to build up my structure a little bit and then um, y'all can see here that my structure is a lot better and now I have a ledge that I can actually file So before I go in, I'm just cleaning off my nail because this file that I use, I literally just got them from Amazon today in the mail and they were leaking or leaking. They were shedding all over me. All those little black dots all over my hands are from this nail file and it was really pissing me off because it was getting in everything like I can kind of see little black dots in my nails right now and that is so annoying. I do not recommend these files. But anyways, another annoying thing was this color looked so much more yellow in the actual in the actual like container. It comes off so green on camera and it looks a little bit it doesn't look green in real life. It just in certain lights it looks green, other lights it looks yellow, but it is what it is. So now I'm capping my nail. I left a lot of the encapsulation in because I remembered that I told you guys I would show you how I do it on the second video I ever posted which was me encapsulating butterflies in my nails with builder gel so I want to show you guys how I do it with tips. I'm using natural clear as my cap on my um, ombre nails because the blurriness of natural clear just kind of helps the fade look a little bit better. That's a hack I learned from one of the videos that I watch. I watch so many videos, y'all. Like, 
<laughs> I watch so many videos. This nail, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened to the footage. It's gone. But that was the nail that has the negative space, like vertical line in the center. Look at that. Oh, I actually really like this shape. I didn't think I would be like a long square type of gal, but I guess I am. I really, really like this shape. I'm gonna do coffin on my other hand just to like compare and see how I like how they make my hands look like looking at both my hands at the same time basically so you guys will see with my next set which i already have planned and mapped out i'm so excited for that one um but yeah so i'm cleaning off my nails with some isopropyl alcohol just to get all the dust out before i begin to top coat this set was actually i don't want to say i feel like i say a set is easy in every video it's not that it's easy it's just that it's not difficult ah <laughs> it's not something that's super hard to do like exactly what i did is what i did basically what you could you do you what you want you you could do so you what i showed y'all is what i did um i really didn't cut out that much footage and what i did cut out was just me messing up my blend and then going back over to fix it because i just over blend sometimes but y'all see what i'm talking about it looks a little green but it also looks kind of yellow in some lights i don't know i kind of wish i put gold there instead of this one but i wanted it to be hollow but you can't even really tell it's hollow through the friggin encapsulation but it's okay i definitely like the blend on my thumb better than on this finger which is my ring finger but it's still cute i'm proud of myself for my first time doing all of these nails we're all my first time doing negative space inverted v ombre i just wanted to challenge myself okay another trick just wiping off the top coat that's leaking down the edges because apparently that can affect your shape i didn't even know that but I think that's so true because sometimes I do top coat and then af and when I don't do that, I look at it after and it's not the shape that I thought it was. Like, why did you deceive me? I decided to add some bling to that finger just because it's not as good as my thumb. So I wanted to spice it up a little bit. I just did like a little tiara arrangement, super basic. And I secured the big gem with a little bit of clear poly gel and the little gems, I just put them in wet top coat and then I cured it afterwards. Y'all, I should have never taken off my UV light protection gloves in the beginning of this because look at my hands. No, look at them. It's a joke. I look like I have a skin infection. It's all dried poly gel and super glue. Like, why was I being so messy? And it's cuticle time. It is cuticle. I should make a cuticle oil song because I love applying cuticle oil. But y'all, just look at this. Look at the reveal. Three, two, one. Period. Wow. <laughs> the crowd screaming in the background. <laughs> look at the blend. Oh, I'm so proud of this set. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. To all of my viewers, male and female, I know there's male because somebody commented and said I was hilarious the other day. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate you. Keep commenting. Keep subscribing. Let me know what y'all want to see. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.